his wife Dorothy and daughter Devon are the loves of his life. That's not what you told me. <laughs> they fully support his Toastmaster's life, although they often remind him that just because he has a humorous speaking trophy does not not mean all his jokes are funny. <laughs> Bernie and his family enjoy reading, astronomy, and family camping trips. I don't know if it's all together at the same time. <laughs> Bernie won second place at the District 64 Humorous Speech Contest this past November. Bernie's speech is called A Warm and Comfortable Leadership. Please put your hands together to welcome Bernie Platt. the neighborhood birds. No, not the British term for babes. Real ones with feathers. Because we have our own BB gun club. Bernie, I don't think your microphone's on. Sorry. There we go. There. Sorry. We had our own BB gun club. I was only 10, but I needed to act promptly if I valued my title as a leader. And so I jumped straight out of my pajamas into my shorts when I heard this agonizing scream. I looked down and realized it must have been me. <laughs> because part of the sensitive skin was caught on the opposite side of the zipper. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and their guests, and especially all men, were sensing compassionate pain. <laughs> This traumatic event cut short my leadership potential for life. Another boy had to take over as a leader since I no longer could oblige to the club rules, which stated unequivocally, if you want to be a comandante, you have to go commando. And thus, the charisma I was born with was zipped away. Self-inflicted circumcision at the age of 10 can lead to lack of confidence. <laughs> and I have no hoodie to hide my head. <laughs> there were the odd times I would stick up my head like a turtle from a shell, such as the time when I first dated the lovely lady who has since become my wife. Those who know my wife Dorothy know she's a sweet lady, but back then, after several days, she realized I hesitated making decisions. Dinner? Where would you like to go, sweetheart? One day, she had enough. She said, I want you to be more assertive. Tonight, you will decide where we're going to dine. She was dressed to the nines. High heels, her hair made up beautifully. In the car before we left, I leaned over to kiss, but she held her hands out, at least I disrupt one lock. <laughs> I knew exactly where to take her. I drove first past the Brodniks and then straight to the burger factory. <laughs> it was a very agreeable decision for my wallet. And as a true gentleman, I jumped out of the car and I opened the door for her. She refused to come out. I said to her, honey, sweetheart, if you do not join me for a burger, please don't ask me to make this type of decision again. <laughs> Needless to say, until this day, she loves to make the decision where we're going to be. <laughs> As a non-leader, I must say, a very effective way of delegating. <laughs> Several years ago, the company I worked for went through a restructuring program and I was offered a promotion. I did forego this opportunity. Main reason, lack of public speaking confidence. So I joined Toastmasters. I soon realized that Toastmaster not only improves our public speaking, but also leadership skills. At first I had my doubt. When it comes to leadership, I still felt it's something you either have or you don't. And if you lose it due to zipper traumas, it's gone for good. <laughs> <laughs> Toastmasters 
Toastmasters. All the members of this organization proved me wrong. I have since learned that public speaking and leadership are two faces of the same confidence coin. A fellow co-worker who did not get the opportunity of a promotion was furious about this. Perhaps his name was Mike. <laughs> <laughs> While Mike was preparing his resignation, he said, How could upper management have overlooked me? I am a born leader ever since kindergarten. I've been a leader in every club and every class and every project I participate. Another co-worker, I think it was Craig, he said, Perhaps you were a leader even before birth, a sperm leader. Not realizing the sarcasm, Mike jumped up and said, Yes, that's me! I was a leader even before I was born. <laughs> there is some truth to what he said. Take us, for example. For all of us here in this room, half of our genetic makeup comes from that single sperm that made it first. And once safely in the cocoon of the egg, while wiggling our tails, we all went, Yes! I'm a leader! I beat millions of others! <laughs> I'm not very good at doing the sperm accent. <laughs> the reason a sperm is able to feel this type of confidence is because it's surrounded by the protection of the egg. Not unlike a Toastmasters Club. <laughs> whose members surround us with the support that we need in order to practice and improve our leadership skills. No Toastmaster club out there should experience lack of membership. We all need to remind all the non-members who are swimming by <laughs> that we are what they're really looking for, a receptive egg with no rejection. <laughs> Odd prospective candidate may need a little persuasive pinch, a la in vitro. <laughs> Trust me, they will thank us later. This morning I went to help a friend out of town with some plumbing in his basement, and by the time we were finished, I realized it was getting quite late and I had to rush home to get ready for this exciting event. So when I got home, I quickly jumped into the shower, and when I came out, I realized that the drawers containing my briefs was empty. I went quickly to my wife and I said, Honey, sweetheart, do I have any clean undies downstairs? <laughs> Her response, Oh, great leader, <laughs> unless you've done a load of laundry, no, you do not. <laughs> she, she did apologize soon after by saying, I'm sorry, I shouldn't belittle your humor topic. If it is of any help, you can always use one of mine. <laughs> That's from the Toastmaster. Oh. Yes. Tonight I feel like I have regained some of my childhood leadership. No? I got no BB gun in hand. Not quite commando, but rather soft and comfortable. La Senza type of leadership. <laughs>